down if you're new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. Why you down there? Give that a little bell tickle. Give it a tickle, and then give it a little thumbs up when it tickle. He likes a tickle. How many times can Lydia say tickle in one go? A lot. So today we're talking about the difficulty of maintaining relationships with us friends, family, loved ones, partners, any person. When you have a mental illness, it, you have to put yourself through. That sounds selfish, but it's not. You have to remember to take your medication, go to therapy, go to an appointment, get used to the new medication, a process. You have to look after yourself first. For me, I don't have any IRL friends. I have a friend in my hometown, where I grew up. I have a friend who lives in Brighton. I'm very lucky because my family and me had a lot of issues two years ago, and I didn't think we would recover from it. I'm looking at my family and me managed to repair our relationships and we get on brilliantly now. I talk to my grandma every day on FaceTime. I'll write me my phone battery. Seriously, FaceTime takes up so much of your data and so much of your battery. It's basically robbing the phone. But anyway, when it comes to loving people in a relationship, it, depending on diagnosis, it can be really hard. For me, I have bipolar type 1, BPD, depersonalisation, devialisation, PTSD, anxiety, depression factors, psychotic factors, EDNOS, and then insomnia. The part that makes it hard is the BPD. The BPD type, so my brain just can't function in relationships. And I'll bring up something I don't ever bring up on this channel. The only true relationship I've been in that I've loved someone is with my ex. There are videos on this channel of me and Becca, and she is in the intro. With her breaking up with me, it was hard. It was one of the the worst days of my life. But generally with relationships I do struggle. With making friends and me it's not easy. I don't I don't trust people. But I've been hurt in the past. But it's so hard to trust people. I'll get there. I just need to start going out more. Because I currently live in my bedroom. And all that I can see is bags from when I was in the hospital that I haven't unpacked yet. Hell I've still got Christmas stuff in a box that I didn't open. Well I opened the present but I put them into a box and they're still there under my table. I've been putting off doing so much. Mental illness make drinking relationships. You, you have to put yourself in it. Survive. And I know a lot of relationships. Partner, friend, family member need support too. And they can rely on you for their support. And then you're supporting yourself, you're supporting someone else at the same time. The recipe for this is disaster. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you are new, like I said at the beginning, hit the subscribe button, the notifications on, and give that little tickle to the thumbs up button. Still like the tickle. Ignore how pink my nails are. It was hard and and then I dive my acting. I still have it with him. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.